Hey there friends, how's it going? I've got a great game to show you today. It's called Yes Your Grace. I played it before, but this is kind of a separate story. The last time, I just about struggled through a war making horrible decisions and making everyone hate me. But I'm alive. However, this time it goes even worse. So long story short, the game is about making choices to protect your kingdom and keep everything functioning. And I'm the king, so well, let's see how this goes. Hey everyone, so I won the war. I assume you're all here to congratulate me. To my surprise, or did he, the finest, healthiest cow in the village was not giving anything. Some say that her days are nearly at an end. I don't care, go away. <laughs> Having said that, the people don't really like me. Well, I'm gonna skip on this anyway, uh, and just let her cow die. Anyway, goodbye. <laughs> we were extremely lucky to win that battle. No, it was my skill and determination. We've lost most of our men. <laughs> If not for that avalanche. No, shut up. There was no avalanche. I won it through skill and determination. I enjoyed the sounds of birds chirping away each morning. This king is in a world of his own, <laughs> despite what's going on. So this is a big backstory that's going on. One of my allies died and his son is convinced I killed him, but like I actually didn't. Having said that, I did sentence what I'm pretty sure was an innocent man to death for the crime, just so I'd have a scapegoat. <laughs> sentence an innocent person to death. How does that make you feel? I mean, did you hear me laugh? It feels pretty good. Uh, he's also pissed off that I use witchcraft. That's true. Starting from your throne room, I'll remove all things diabolical from this world. Okay, just because it's true doesn't mean you're uh, allowed to say that. I'm pissed. Other kings won't want to help us, but we must try. Don't worry, I have a way with people. Meanwhile, the bodyguard standing next to me, who's painfully aware that I just sent a woman away and said, basically, screw you and your cow. He's saying we should stack up on supplies. Okay, peasant, you at the back. I'm trying to get the less important tasks out of the way. I, I'm just not talking to the important people. All my pots, pans, jugs, cutlery, and mugs are smashed. Okay, maybe this is too small for a king. I'm just gonna say I'm sorry. I'm not sending a hunter or a witch with you to deal with an imp that's breaking your cutlery. I just don't believe it. Okay, um, it's halved. My public opinion has halved since I started, and I just started. It's time for the wedding, isn't it? What wedding? I've forgotten. There won't be any wedding. Oh, thank goodness. My son, he overdosed on oracle dust. Oh, the stuff I've been, like, peddling. I keep buying this and selling it for profit. Wow, what a stroke of good luck. I solved my own problem. I'm sorry, Eric. I won't be able to support your kingdom anymore. I need to focus on myself. You are greedy. Why doesn't anyone think of me, huh? <laughs> Yay, the people liked me for something I did. I've forgotten about it already, but uh, the people like me. Can I invite one of the kings out to talk to me? <laughs> These are my only allies left. <laughs> and one of them's a drug dealer. I think it's this guy. All right, King Varid. I, I, I choose you over Grego with like 80 dudes. Come on over, we'll chat. If you're not available, Perhaps we could zoom or something. I don't know. It, it might be a bit hard. Like, my guy's already a boomer, and he's a boomer in the Middle Ages. Okay, so this is my home. Wait, is that my portrait? Is that my king portrait? I'm just doing a weird squat pose in the void. Okay, time to stress the old legs. Well, stretch the old legs, but also time to stress. <laughs> What's up? You shouldn't worry you're pregnant, but also we're at war, just so you're aware. <laughs> I forgot that that other dude has my daughter as well. We're gonna have to figure out how to get her back. I probably should have sent my people to help with that cow because I didn't even use them in the end. They're just chilling. But anyway, here's the meeting of the kings. Ah, yes, the three wise men and me. Each have like a thousand men, then we can match it and we're defending, so we should win. Will you all help us then? Not so fast. Ah, oh, goddammit. But all the barbarians, I've got quite a challenge in the recent weeks myself. If you help me get rid of the leftovers, then I will give you my army. I want them all gone. Oh, man. Singapore. Oh my god, they're all fighting. So this guy just wants them gone one way or another. This dude wants to help all the barbarians so they prosper and just stop fighting. And this guy wants to murder all of them immediately. This guy's definitely more my style, but I I'm happy with anything as long as they help me. Help any that you come across and you will have my army. <laughs> I will take my leave. Oh god, he's pissed that fella off. I reckon it'll take them about 19 weeks before they march their army here. Let's say, if I don't have any problems with the barbarians, then I will lend you my men. Okay. Are you going to let people starve? I mean, my people are starving. What's your point? Why, why would I go help them? We literally just got attacked by them. That could have gone better. Yeah, it sure could have. 
Uh, this fella's back. <laughs> you change your mind? I knew you'd come crawling back. I ran into one of your daughters. Oh, here we go again. Another marriage. Honestly, go for it. I thought I had lost her anyway. <laughs> How about I let you consider a while? <laughs> but I already agreed. He's probably a little concerned that I keep promising my daughters away and then it doesn't happen. And he brought it up and I immediately just went, yes, let's do it. You will need to save supplies in order to prepare for the siege. To put supplies aside, click the plus button. Oh, this is going to get complicated. You will need five crates of supplies. Oh man. Oh my God. It takes so much. I just put like one and a third of a crate and it's like two thirds of my food. Fine. Take it. But I need more. <laughs> I need more fast. Wait, you're already back. <laughs> what is up with a relationship? You've sent for me. Oh yeah. I already invited him before. You can have Azalea's hand. That's not why I invited you. I just wanted to chat. But yeah, I'll take your army. Thanks. Say your goodbyes. Tell your daughter to pack up. Oh wait, immediately? Oh <laughs> no. The kings have asked for us to complete impossible tasks. Say what you want. I just completed one of them. Oh, he's saying we should recruit peasants to the throne room. I don't know. I have not been very nice to them. I mean, I'll try it. My people aren't doing anything anyway. Oh, they all have problems that I have to fix, though. Crop problems. Village on fire. <laughs> That's the equivalent of sending an email to the fire station when your house goes up in flames. Like, no one's gonna see that. And even if a certain king did, maybe he'll just pretend to forget it. <laughs> so, are these all people I've helped or these are all people that like I, I I screwed over because if this is just a summary of what I did then that would be great like if I did do good stuff because I did some good stuff I think tavern business I remember helping someone with a tavern business I'll send my general and I'll send everyone else elsewhere the hunter can climb a mountain to go to that village and the witch is going there I'm so grateful for your help we all are I, I'm not sure about that <laughs> I got some happiness, though, because I think my hunter helped that, that person with something. Oh, the dungeon guard, my favorite employees. I've added a list of upgrades for you to check. All right, you're bottom of the list now. You were my favorite. Although maybe that's because I just never heard from them. I'm not sure. <laughs> okay, I'm going to have to start paying off the village. Whee! I'll buy their happiness. Whee! There we go. More money down the drain. What do you want? I come to you with a special offer. A painting? I have a special price for you. Lower than I can offer to anyone. 12 pieces. No. <laughs> go away. Imagine spending over 10% of the kingdom's money on a painting while we're at war. All right. Well, time to go tell my daughter that she's off to marry someone else now. Even though I just told her yesterday the wedding was off. <laughs> I'm back like, hey, good news. A different wedding is on. You will marry Varid. She's like, who even is that? You're leaving at sunrise. So you have time to say goodbye to everyone. I hope Atana crushes this hellhole and you along with it. Well, teenagers can be angsty, <laughs> can't they? Well, if you lose the war now, you're gonna feel like a brat. See you later, maybe. I don't know. Who knows? I might die. Hey, uh, honey, promised away our daughter again. Just thought I'd let you know. Get your things. Let's head off. Bye-bye. When Ivo strikes, my forces will flank him from behind. We'll push them to the wall. They won't stand a chance. I hope he's actually honest, unlike everyone else. Her last words to me were, I love you Braille? She is such a sweetheart. This gate looks very old. Anyone with some strength could probably just barge through it. Okay, cool. Anyway, I'm off back to the throne room. Oh man, I have a big line of people talking to me today. I hope it's all good news. Oh, there's even more. Ah, oh, so these are all the villagers that we contacted to fight for us. Okay, so I'm just gonna ask them one by one while maintaining eye contact and never blinking. Will you join my army in the upcoming battle? We have a chance to win the war. Inspiring words, I must say. Uh, well, that's a no, because the tavern I invested in with him failed, so he doesn't like me. Uh, this guy, yeah, I didn't help him either. He's leaving. How about you? <laughs> you truly are a savior. I owe my life to you. Yes! Here's the sack of potatoes. Uh, no, I want you to fight for me. What? It gave me one supplies. I needed someone to fight for me, not potatoes. And that's a lot coming from an Irish man. And these just want help, so yeah, just, just take my money and, and go. But if I ever call you to war, please help me. I gotta find someone I actually helped. Wounded husband husband, side business. Who are the drug dealers? I've helped them out a lot. Crop problems. That's probably something I would have helped with. Send the general. I'll send the hunter to the village that's on fire. <laughs> Bring a few fire extinguishers, buddy. The good news is I am going up in food every turn, so I can stash a little bit. Ah, and here's the upgrade list. So I can reinforce the gate. They're all very expensive, though. I'll leave them for now because some of these ideas, like mining under the castle wall, seems like maybe it's a bad idea. I'm not sure. Okay, 
Okay, come on. We need some volunteers. Our fields became unstable after the floods. Nothing would grow in them. So we started trading spices, blah, blah, blah. They told us we would help in the battle. They would kill our children. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, bye. We invested the gold you kindly gave us in a special fence. Yes! All right, this should help. What? No, come back. <laughs> Join my arm. Oh, wait, he gave me food. That's okay, too. I'll accept that. It was a lot of food. After the fires, there was nothing left of our village. Well, there's you, and you looked like you could fight. 28 gold for 22 supplies. Or I could buy drugs. No, you know, I know I'll get I'll get supplies. I actually really need them. Oh, these are some of the bandits, but like they're just looking for a place to live. You should keep in mind that King Yedrick will only aid us with his army if we refuse all requests. And I already gave away my daughter to him, right? General, get rid of them. I mean, he's got a good point. Like, your men slaughtered my army. Like, he does have a point. This is one where being bad is actually kind of gray <laughs> instead of me just being bad. Oh no, so I have King Varid and the other guy. Why can't they just have easier names. This guy's literally coming to the king because he has constipation. Like, go find a healer, dude. What do you want me to do? Make a royal decree that you, <laughs> your body must function? I'm just sending my people out to all the villages because I, I can't remember the people I helped, to be honest. <laughs> Look at that. Four crates of supplies already. I can't fight. After an inn burned down, we had to sell everything. You know, past Kevin, it really feels like you went out of your way to help no one. And I don't recall it being that way. I, I'm pretty sure I was trying to make it work. You helped me and my wife get back together. Of course I helped that for some reason. You can count on us. Great. I have one couple. Oh, they're gathering other villagers. Good. 28 gold for 22 men. Oh, it's a mercenary. I mean... I guess I can do that, but I gotta be careful with my money and generally everything. <laughs> okay, a big long line of people. Let's see how many we can get to help. Uh, it was no one. No one accepted. Uh, there's two other people, but I think they're looking for something. I also got this package. Um, the guy told me to throw it away in case it's a trap, but I cannot resist what's in the mystery box. So I'm gonna open it. Wow. It's a scarf. See, idiot. It's a black scarf. It must mean something, right? I don't like that my character just said maybe one of the girls will like it because that seems to imply that I probably shouldn't have promised my daughters away in marriage, but I still have one left so I can give it to her. I declined this guy and he said Milo was right. He just sits there farting on his chair, the useless prat. Okay, off with your head and Milo's head. Awesome, I have the five minimum crates. Now we can start saving up a little bit. Awesome, someone joined my fight. Oh, and her husband. I'm pretty sure I, I helped her find her husband. This is going much better. You have helped her village. Yes, this whole forest loves me. Nice, I think things are turning in my favor. This woman is trying to take my baby away. I think she means him. What? She lies. She has stolen my baby away. Oh, no. I immediately thought of that story where, like, it was, like, brought to a king and they, like, cut the food in half. But that's that's not relevant here. I just thought I'd let you know. Neither of you will have the child. <laughs> I'll take the child. Cool you are, yeah. Okay, I literally just kidnapped someone. The town hates me for that. I understand. I don't know why I did that. I've been giving my children away so easily. I guess I kind of Lost track. What does this person want? A bag of sugar. It will make your life sweeter. I like this person. Wait a second. What if he's trying to poison me? You're getting imprisoned. <laughs> oh! oh, the people didn't like that either. Damn it. I'm just trying to look tough, you know? I just want everyone to think I'm a winner. <laughs> so it was this area that they were really liking me. So I'm going to send more people there. I'm also realizing that the new ones are coming up. So I helped this person with the butcher stench a while ago. And I can go back to them now and ask them for a favor. So I'm just doing kind of a Don Corleone here. You come to me on the day of my daughter's wedding to ask me a favor. But no one day, I may ask for you a favor in return. Whoa, boss, I had no idea it was the day of your daughter's wedding. Well, your ignorance has failed you. Because you see, every day is the day of my daughter's wedding. I don't know, I just, I keep arranging them for some reason. It's like a problem. I should probably talk to someone, but uh, it is the way it is. Oh, please be like a sweepstakes winner or something. Ugh, it's from my child. Ivo threatened me. If I said a thing, then he would not only come for you, but my sisters and mother. He threatened to skin them alive. He's mad. He believes that by getting rid of you, he will heal his mother and avenge his father. Oh my God. I can see now that there's no way out of it for me. Tell Sudani I'm sorry about Dusty. I don't know who Dusty is, and um, I haven't seen Sudani in weeks. Uh, Azalea is gone. I can't tell her anything. And yeah, I haven't seen your mother in a while either. <laughs> we need to defeat Ivo. Take her back. Yeah, that, that's what we'll focus on. 
Excellent, another person has joined me. This is actually going much better in this side of the world. I was worried at the start. Everyone today joined me. Okay, so I'll send the general over to the person I helped with the butcher stink. Boy. Oh yeah, I was trying to end the day, but I should probably go tell my wife that our, our daughter is essentially a hostage. Also, I want to give her this scarf. <laughs> Wait a second, it's Dusty's fur? Oh, that's why she was saying sorry about Dusty. But whoever Dusty is, I'm guessing Ivo killed them and made a scarf out of it and sent it from her sister. Man, I'm thinking Dusty might have been the butler. I've not seen him in a while. That's such a shame. We need to send someone to get her. His guards are too strong. We'd never be able to get her. What are we gonna do about this? Okay, I spoke with the wife and we maintain the best way to get the daughter back is just win the war. <laughs> Easier said than done, but uh, let's see what happens tomorrow. Yes, the butcher person agreed. This guy wants healing, so I'm just pretending I'm a healer to save money. <laughs> Wait, no, I'm, I, oh, he touches the itchy peasant's face. I'm gonna get itchy now, aren't I? Okay, let's just hope that worked and whatever it was, I didn't catch it. The town loved that. <laughs> okay, all my agents are off helping people. That is a bit of an issue, but whatever. Let's go see what's happening in the castle. I'll make sure the dungeons are in order and that's important. We even air these. I hear the merchant. I don't understand why I'm here. I'm gonna be honest with you, buddy. I don't really know either. You know very well why you are here. <laughs> You'll stay here for now. <laughs> I will not be tricked anymore. I didn't know your grace disapproves of the dust. I've been selling it. <laughs> You'll stay here till Lord Lurz arrives. I think I've broken that quest. Lord Lurz is not coming. This is Delilah, a local witch. Okay. <laughs> we could perform a ritual that will lift the curse that has been placed upon you. What curse? Is this because I touched the itchy dude? There is risk as always in these manners. I honestly don't even understand what you're doing, so I'm just gonna say no. If we don't try, we might never have a son. Who cares? We have enough going on right now. We'll be fine without the son. Jesus. Although I do keep giving away my daughter, so I should be a little bit careful. Oh, what have we got here? King of Radovia? What the hell? You just found him? What the hell? <laughs> Thank you guys so much, you're Ooh, awesome. Damn. That was not necessary. What, the beating? Oh no, you did well. Before I send you off to the headsman, tell me. The witch's curse. Yeah, what is this curse you put on me? He's like, oh yeah, sorry about that, man. I didn't mean it. it, it I don't know, things got a bit out of hand. I do like to use this curse a lot. Never worked. Okay, that's good to hear. Oh, they're in civil war and they have two madmen fighting over the resources. Oh, great. So this is gonna blow up as well, isn't it? When we were crossing the trail, we didn't want to fight. You left us no choice. Wait, what? Let me go and I promise we won't cause any more trouble. I don't want to your daughters. Well, you can't have them. I gave them away again. If you let him go, King Yedrick might not help. Yeah, I feel like he knew the risk. Fine, you may go. Straight to the noose. You'll be executed. All right. Yeah, that's that's over with. All right. Yeah, I, f I feel good about today. Yeah, that's a good point. My guy's like, I'm glad we didn't go through with the ritual because it seems like that witch was just a crazy lady who screams at people. <laughs> like he said, it never worked. Okay, so this guy I didn't help. This guy didn't help. <laughs> this person, I stole their baby. I don't think they'll be fighting for the kingdom. Uh, <laughs> what about some of the others? There we go. I sent her to one of the others that I don't really remember, but have a greater chance. I have 10 weeks until the siege. Good lord. <laughs> oh, yes, I did help this person. Okay, it worked out. Oh, and the guy who was itchy is, is sorted too. Great. I'll be coming for you to join the war as well. Oh, no, now my guy's saying he was itchy, and this fella said perhaps if you touch yourself, it will heal faster. Uh, is that a is that a bear in line to talk to the king? Uh, sorry, kid. The bear comes first. I must know what it wants. Oh wait, it's with you. He is quite something. The others are like common sense, and I'm like, no, this is great for a child. Yeah, let the bear stay. That's what I say. I'm a good dad. <laughs> Immediately, the king says, I better talk to the wife. I'm trying to send all my agents now to help the villagers instead because, well, I've gotten most of the ones that'll actually help me. Like, I'll send the witch out to that itchy dude now <laughs> and tell her not to touch him. And then I gotta do, like, three more over here for the time being. But I'm saving up money, supplies, and, and just trying my best to get ready for the siege. Oh, sweet Jesus. It's kind of weird that it's sitting right there on top of the bear skin.
again. Should I make another rug? <laughs> it's just standing there staring at it. Okay, this is fine. A wild bear. What if it's just a weird dude in a suit? It seems too calm. I'm just immediately saying to the wife, I am so sorry. <laughs> She's gonna be like, oh, what now? Oh, yeah, and also the other thing, uh, I gave a bear to her child. Are you out of your mind? I think I'll ride the bear into battle. That'll show you wrong. I'm gonna stockpile a little more food just because I have the resources, and then I won't worry about it anymore. I might also get some hot oil. That sounds fun. I think I'll buy the ballista, too. We're making a big investment here, but I think this will be good. We still have nine weeks to. Could I actually be competent for once? I don't know. The jury's still out. <laughs> We'll see. Where's the itchy dude? Itchy dude, yeah, you. Are you fighting? You were the one who cured my illness. You are the chosen one. If I must, I will give up my life to protect you. And I'll bring my friends too. Meanwhile, my guy's sitting there like, uh, yeah, it's... It's fine. Um... I'm... I'm happy to help. Let's just hope it's not terminal. We need to call King Summit soon. This will be our last chance to talk to them before the battle. Oh, I should probably do that. I think I have fulfilled their requests, right? If you haven't spoken to Varid yet, I don't even remember who Varid is. Lord is currently away. Well, how can I invite him then? Yeah, I got some more men for the fight. Uh, a fortune teller is here. <laughs> they will only work if you truly believe in it. What are you selling? I think I'm gonna buy this stone of wealth. For some reason, I believe you. <laughs> I probably should have spent that money on reinforced walls instead, but instead I bought a shiny rock, so I'm gonna save and continue. We've made our decision and we're sticking with it. <laughs> Eric, your daughter, Ursula, was accused of treason, blasphemy, and witchcraft. Oh my god. <laughs> she was also found guilty of helping the enemy by magically letting them win a battle through collapsing the mountains. Oh yeah, seems reasonable. I feel obliged to inform you that after many long debates and attempts to expel the devil out of Lursala, it was deemed necessary to ultimately cleanse her body by flame and pray to God to forgive her soul. I have a feeling you're going to die. Oh no. No! Oh, and sad music is playing and everything. This is awful. I'm just going around telling all the family she's dead now. Well, Bear. It's just you and me now. <laughs> He's just like, uh, I'll just pet you and walk away. I don't know if the game is just like making a point that this is a big moment or it's going to end because I've just destroyed their family. I got an achievement saying farewell my daughter, which doesn't feel like a good achievement to have. Oh, everyone's coming and giving me gifts because I lost my daughter. The gifts they gave me were so small though, like next week they're just gonna ask for it all back because no, I don't know, someone lost their parent and they had a cow and it died and it fell over and the fence just got destroyed. So I gotta pay like all the kingdom's gold. Do I still have to invite over the kings or like how do I do that? They've got barbarians chained up at the castle wall. Oh, I'm on my way over. Damn you barbarians. You're almost as bad as the guy who tried to sell me sugar. Okay, I ordered them all to be executed. That was easy. I'm going back to bed. <laughs> I'm sending the hunter to negotiate with the woman whose baby I stole. You know, just in case. The King Summit, okay, it's here. Will you help me repel Atana from my gates? Come on, you, you did well, yes! You stuck to our bargain, so you have my army. Break a that, just don't bother complaining, I'm not listening. I have the, the people I need, I think, I'm fine. Okay, now realistically, I think I'm going to need to upgrade stuff. <laughs> That should be my next priority. Great, now the only people left are people I'm actively helping, so as soon as they ask for a favor, I'll immediately send someone out. Okay, and I'll buy a reinforced gate. I sent the general and the witch away to care for themselves for now. They're doing chores for me. <laughs> oh no, the armies aren't gonna be in there in time to meet the, the attacking army. Oh, God damn it! we'll have to just try and wait it out. Wait, servants have heard noises coming from the council chamber, but everyone is too scared to go in. What? I, uh, you wait here, peasant. Wait. Oh, Jesus, okay. <laughs> that could have been bad if I lost my final daughter to allowing her to have a bear in the house. I'm giving him another chance. One more accident and I'll put him down myself. Yeah, that, that's not gonna happen. I trust the bear. Why, this guy? He's my most trusted advisor. The one I'm standing on was my previous advisor. Eiffel sent me just like a spam newsletter just being like, hey, any witches need to burn, so like, send me a DM if you see one. Be win. Oh, yeah, anyway, you, wh what did you want? Sorry to make 
make you stand around. My daughter was nearly eaten by a bear. Damn it, I need more money for upgrades, but I spent the money on that stupid rock that hasn't given me any more money back. <laughs> this other guy's just watching me pace around like, Jesus, this guy's a lunatic. My daughter is playing with a bear. <laughs> she's pregnant and she's to deal with all this stress that I impose on her. Okay, I'm not paying any of my specialty people this week and instead I'm going to reinforce the walls. I think that's a good shout. Oh, he wants to buy supplies for gold. Oh, that actually works. Yeah. Oh, but or buy drugs. No, here's supplies. Oh, yes, I agreed earlier to judge a contest based on these little statues. I get to pick the one that wins. Well, Jesus, it's so hard when they're all so bad. But I'll give it to the one in the, the funky little dress there. It's playful. I like that in a time of war. I'm pissing everyone off now because I stopped granting favors. Like, they like me so I can get away with it now. I've done everything I could. We've also reinforced the castle. Hopefully we can last a little longer. We have enough supplies to last about three weeks, but I thought we had more. Oh, I'm a little bit nervous about not paying these though, because what if they're not there for the battle? Like, I need them in the battle. I'm going to get mining equipment in case we need to get out of here and get supplies some other way. The only thing I won't have is a moat, which I guess isn't the end of the world. I'm gonna add more supplies as well, and I think we're okay. The Siege of Grevno. I hear Queen gave birth to a curl. Really? <laughs> oh, I mean, thanks. Yeah, we're psyched, bro. Oh my god, the amount of them. I only have 338 men. Okay, this looks bad now, but later it'll get better, right? Mock Ivo. I'll take every opportunity to do that, yeah. Hey, Ivo, you chicken. Why don't you just come out already? No, don't say that. The backup isn't here yet. No, shut up. No, stop it. Shut up. They're too far away. They won't hear. Oh, okay. Well, yeah, take that, Ivo. Everything seems to be in order. We seem to be ready. Everything's fine. It's just to display a power flexing their muscles. A white flag. What? Don't sh- oh. Are you all the way up there? <laughs> I can't hear you. Can you come down? We're meant to speak with King Eric. Oh, who is this? King Ivo wants a truce. I don't believe that for a second. I'm gonna shoot at this messenger. He tried to entice everyone to leave, saying that they'd be safe, but nah, definitely not. That guy's a liar. D don't believe him. We won't win this, you great- No, just- don't, don't fill your pants. Get up on that wall. Everyone has a negative attitude around here. I'm the only one going in with some positivity here. Oh my god, they're getting closer. This isn't 3,000. It's at least double. Oh, come on. We need to find a way to collapse their tunnel. They're trying to tunnel in? Oh, who would be best to destroy a tunnel? Can I use this mining equipment that I bought, maybe? We can mine underneath their tunnel and collapse it. Yes. Soldiers, I hope you've played Minecraft because you're going mining. Okay, we don't have to worry about the tunnel. And what, what was that? Oh, man. He said good thing our wall is reinforced. Yeah. <laughs> Go. Please let us in. I don't know who you are. They're not They're not coming in. Go ahead. I don't know if that was a trick or not, but they've ceased fire for the day, so I'm happy. Monsters in the castle. You've got to be kidding me. Oh, wait, is it the bear again? Hounds running about. Etana must have found a way in for them. Oh, for God's sake. Send the hunter. Why even ask me? Just go directly to the hunter. It's his thing. Tabo. Ah, good thing I have the bear. <laughs> we have a good self-defense animal. Watch tech saved us. Wait, the bear? <laughs> I'm a good dad after all. If it wasn't for that bear, the hounds would have got to us. Excellent. I didn't even need to lift a finger. Medieval problems require medieval solutions. I'm gonna ask the witch to get rid of this smoke. They're, they're putting like incense up or something to freak out the soldiers and it's working. So I hope she can manage to stop this somehow. <laughs> She paid the ultimate price, you grace. What? She's dead? Release arrows. This wasn't even worth it. We're gonna kill like four people. All right, like 40 people. But still, we lost the witch. This sucks. I mean, if I can just keep shooting, it's not too bad, to be fair. <laughs> Oh, wait, no, they're shooting back. Nah, oh, this sucks. Human heads? What the hell? It's the peasants. We should have let them in. Oh, man, this sucks. Well, look, in my defense, they got in in the end. Like, it all worked out the same. We don't have a moat. Yeah, that's like the one thing I didn't get, all right? Our supplies are on fire. What? Ah, uh, we need the men on the wall. Don't go put them out. Why is there no one else to do this? Why does the king have to put out the fires? Literally. Oh, man, I don't really feel good about our odds. They're getting close. Closer and closer. They're resuming the attack. Siege tower's incoming. Oh, the, the ballista, that's what it was for. Yes, yes, it's working. Wait, this is my last archer? The others just left. Oh, they don't have great fate in King Kevin, do they? Oh no, 
Oh no, just gonna slip over here and pour down this oil and then push this ladder. <laughs> the king just walking around on the wall, pushing down ladders. The battle at the wall lasted hours, but it was far from over. A deserter. Wait, is it? Are we doing okay then? There's no place for cowards under my banner. This guy was hiding. Ah, there you go. What a way to execute him. It was so pathetic. Is this the intro sequence? I seem to recall it being the intro sequence because I'm pretty sure I surrendered and the game just ended immediately. Honestly, this is more like it. This amount of archers is what we need. The queen is awaiting you at the wall. Where is my backup? Unless the queen is my backup. Maybe she's going to go out there on the bear. They're just having a little hug and reminiscing about their daughter while there's an active war going on. Anyway, see you later. Uh, we're all gathering around to drink our sorrows away. I don't know if we're going to win here or not. It's not looking good, but at the same time, it's not looking terrible either. They're here. What? They're right at the door? Okay, you guys run off and I'll start pushing people off ladders again. Soldiers of Davern. Um, stay together. <laughs> Lame. The music even died down. Face your inner monsters and you will come out victorious. Let's show them that we can keep up the good fight. Let's show him what we're made of. We're like five dudes. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, that doesn't sound good. They're inside. Oh, there's loads of them. My family's safe in the castle. I won't leave my men. I, I need to protect the family. And like, I think I left the stove on or something. You guys hold the line. Bye. Honestly, I was helping on the front line for way longer than I should. The king is gone, he said. I just ditched them. I'm just hiding in my room with the door blocked. <laughs> this really sums up my character as king. To be fair, before that I was really brave and I still have high hopes like our reinforcements should arrive now right oh this is a cool little cutscene it's like GTA 2 except I'm invested in the story here we go yes Yedrick and Varid have managed to arrive just in time. At last, after seemingly impossible tasks, Davern was victorious. Yes, Davern, Davern. I'm way into this story now. The final order. Be done with him. Oh, yes, this is the bastard right here. You did it. 5,000 men didn't manage to get through these walls. Nothing but a scratch. Why did the gods listen to you? I'm just gonna be like, there's no magic here, dude. You've just lost, okay? I wonder if that merchant that tried to sell me sugar is down in the dungeon. Like, can he hear the celebrations? I hope he knows we're doing well. How did you do it? All I want to know is how you poisoned my father. <laughs> Who did poison his father? I actually don't know. Fly, Eri. And so I. Wait, the tooth filed the letter? It was him! The only difference is... The evidence was meant to point to a person who had killed you! Oh, damn! You tried to kill me? That's even worse than killing your own father. If you were to step down from this throne, I would be the king of Davern. Wait, I thought I was, like, under his kingdom. So he's under mine, then? Oh, and then he'd be married to my daughter and the clues and everything. Oh, wait, no, I get it. So I am under his kingdom. I, I'm like one of the lesser kings, I guess. He's the overall king. And then he would have taken my spot and his father would have been overall king because he would have still been alive. Yeah, I get it. But it ended up like this. I have a bear. Did you know that? Can I feed him to the bear? <laughs> as frustrating as it is, it looks like we will never find out who did the dirty deed. So like someone swapped the cops? How did you swap the cops? I didn't, man. I, <laughs> I don't even know what happened. Fly. He's all slimy and sticky. What is this, a flashback? Kind of gross. I looked for him everywhere. I've stirred up every pot, even in the kitchen. Oh my god, it was the kid! If it wasn't for Sidani's snail, I would have been served the poison wine. So she was looking for a snail and it saved my life. Excellent. I knew I should have kept encouraging her love for pets. Treason, massacring civilians. Why, it's a stern warning for you. You're just lucky that sugar merchant is taking up my last remaining cell. I think I'll keep him around as a souvenir. He'll rot in the dungeons. Look at that. We're all happy. Except for all the people who died, including my two daughters. I love a happy ending. So we will end it there, but thank you so much for being part of my kingdom. Check out more of my content here if you'd like, and I hope to see you next time. Bye for now.